And we are live. We are live. Hello, Taiyi, future Taiyi middle school students. This is Mr. Lilly, the proud principal of Taiyi Middle School. I am so excited to meet you. Uh, I'm so excited to welcome you to Taiyi Middle School. Uh, just about all of you, I think all of you, are currently finishing up your fifth grade year. Congratulations on that accomplishment. We're so excited for you. I know that your elementary teachers and principals are sad to see you go, but we're so excited to have you at Taiyi Middle School in the 2020-2021 school year. Now, there is a million dollar question, which is, is school still going to be closed in the fall? And we don't quite know the answer to that yet, but we are preparing for any and all possible scenarios so that your first year at Taiyi Middle School is as successful as possible. So we've got some really fun people who you're going to get to meet today in this nice little video presentation. You're going to hear a lot of information. Don't worry about it if it's a lot that you're hearing all at once because we're going to make a recording and you can watch this over and again. And we're going to share our names so you know who you can reach out to. So again, my name is Mr. Lilly. I'm the principal of Taiyi Middle School and welcome. First joining us is one of our amazing assistant principals, Miss Johnson. I'm going to turn it over to her right now. Hi, Mr. Lilly. Thanks so much. Uh, so great to have all of you here today. Um, I'm right outside Taiyi. No, I'm actually at my home, but the picture you see behind me is a picture of the outside of the Taiyi building. I hope a lot of you have had a chance to see the Taiyi building, and if you haven't, on the campus, you can just go and take a look around. Uh, it's a pretty cool campus, but it's a little bit bigger than your elementary schools that you're coming from. Before I get things started, I just want to introduce someone special to me. So this is my daughter, Marley. Marley is a fifth grader, just like you guys, and she's really excited to start middle school and a tiny bit nervous, tiny bit nervous. So I was thinking, what things does she want to know that maybe you want to know that we can answer? So thanks. All right. So how about this? How long are classes? Classes will be 50 minutes almost every day of the week, but Wednesday. On Wednesday, classes are 40 minutes long. And so that gives you enough time to connect with your teachers, learn something new, provide some evidence of your learning. So not a whole lot of time, um, and it seems to go by pretty quick, especially when you're having fun in all our classes. So the next question is, can you take notes on the computer? We're gonna give you a laptop when you start at Taiyi. And that allows you to almost use it like a little bit of a notebook in the old school days. In the old school days, we use something like this to take notes. Um, I still take notes like that. So the question was, can you, do you have to use your computer? Can you take notes on your computer? And so the, the short answer is you're going to take notes in whatever way makes the most sense for you. You can take it in paper and pencil, you can take it on the computer, but we are going to teach you how to use that computer so that you become more comfortable with it. Um, personally, I use a combination of both though, the paper and the computer. Okay, big question. How many hours does it take to finish your homework? I would say about 20 minutes per class that you have if it's a reading and writing class. Those would include foreign language, world language classes, um, or any of our tech classes if there's some tech work. It probably won't include classes like PE or um, but or art maybe, uh, but music you would have to practice. So we average about 20 minutes um, a class in sixth grade. And then somebody said, well, what about the apps that we use? I know from supporting Marley, especially through this uh, virtual learning place, we're using lots of apps. So the ones that we're going to use here at Taiyi are OneNote, Teams, and Outlook. And we're going to get really good at those three. All right, what are some supplies you need on the first day of school? Well, please come with your smile. That's a big supply that you don't even have to buy. Please make sure that you bring some type of, of notebook or something to write on and a writing utensil, maybe your backpack in case that you, you get some supplies from classes. But each teacher is gonna give you what's called a syllabus. And the syllabus will list the supplies that you need for the class. A lot of them like uh, composition notebooks, 
but I wouldn't spend a whole lot of time shopping before school starts, especially because right now we're not really sure what that's going to look like. All right, do sixth graders get extra credit? Here's my view on extra credit. Extra credit is sometimes used by some teachers, but only when the first set of work is done. So the goal should be to move to put all your effort and energy into the first set of work, the set of work that's assigned by your teacher, and then they'll let you know if extra credit is something that can happen. OK, my favorite. Here's my one of my favorite questions because it's about PE. Long time ago, I used to be a PE and health teacher. So this question is, do I wear a PE uniform? I got to let you know PE is different, totally different from elementary school to middle school. PE in elementary school, you're getting 40 minutes a week. At least you were when we were in the building. Uh, now you're going to get it every day for a semester, which is half of a year. You'll get a PE uniform. It'll have a T-shirt. It'll have a pair of shorts and you'll change every day. So then what happens if you get uncomfortable changing in the locker room? There are some spaces you can go in the locker room to change, but I think later on our eighth graders would probably agree when you hear from them, you get a little bit more comfortable changing your clothes and it's not as big of a deal later. Um, and then what if it's too cold outside? Your PE teachers will tell you about sweatshirts or sweats that you can wear, but most PE things in the winter are inside. Guys, that's all for me. I'm gonna turn it over to Miss Nan, our other assistant principal, and she has some good information for you. Take care. Hi everyone, thank you Mrs. Johnson. I'm Mrs. Nan, how are you? Um, welcome, I'm looking forward to seeing you and seeing your faces hopefully very soon. Um, just like Mrs. Johnson, I have a fifth grader going to be a sixth grader, not a Taiyi, but she's pretending to be all cool because she has an older sister already in middle school. So some of these questions that you guys submitted, they're absolutely fabulous questions that I might ask my kid to kind of figure out too for her school. So let's start with the first one. What time should I get to school in the morning? Well, classes start at 8.15 a.m. However, you probably noticed for your elementary school that traffic in the morning gets kind of pretty crazy. So it's tough if you're aiming for 8.15. I would suggest that you aim for a little bit earlier. The doors open at 7.45. So if you're going to be driven to school, aim for earlier than 8.15 possibly 8 of 5 or 8, 10 or so, okay? And that's related to kind of how many tardies can you get before you get detention? Well, so by the time the bell rings at 8, 15, if you come after that, you, that's an automatic tardy. But there's also tardies for each of the periods of the seven classes that you have. So what we like to have is we have an amazing attendance officer, um, manager, Mrs. Hook, who sends us reports if attendance and tardiness becomes an issue. So if that's your case, if it's an issue, we, the assistant principals, the principals know about it and we'll have a conversation with you and possibly with your family as well, okay? Just to make sure that we set you up for success and to get to school and class on time. The third question, can you arrange your classes the way you would like them? Oh, I wish I could arrange my work day the way I like. I kind of want to roll. Hey, Mr. Lily, can I come to work at 12? He's probably going to say no. Anyways, well, while that would be ideal, that kind of gives Mrs. Johnson, who is in charge of the master scheduling, like creating all the classes in the schedule, I'm sure it makes her very nervous. The reason why that's the case is because each of your classes is like a piece to a bigger puzzle. So that's why we can't have everyone just arranging it the way they want to because it has to fit into a bigger piece of puzzle, okay? Next, can I switch classes if I decide I don't want to take a class or I want another teacher? Well, our model is, and if you've heard us in your elementary classes when we came in to talk about registration, you choose it, you get it, you keep it. So. We recognize that you might encounter some problems or issues, but they're adults. Talk to your teacher, talk to your counselor, and we'll help you process and help you respond and address those issues, okay? But remember the motto, you choose it, you get it, you keep it. Are there seven periods every day? Yes, there are seven periods every day. 
50 minutes each and it actually goes by pretty quickly. So at first it might be kind of overwhelming, but you'll get the hang of it very easily. How long do you have to change into your gym clothes and change out of your gym clothes? So just like Mrs. Johnson mentioned, if you have PE for that particular semester, you will have to change and there's about four minutes. So don't worry, when you come to class, the teacher will provide some time to say, hey, everyone change into their PE clothes and there's time before the bell rings at the end to change out of your PE clothes into your regular clothes. When will I get my class schedule? When will I know if I have, an if I have the elective classes I signed up for? I know that's really, really exciting. And you're kind of like the teachers too. The teachers want to know, when do I get my schedule? I want to know what classes and what's the order of classes. So totally. But for you guys, yours, you get your schedule around late August, okay, when everything is kind of settled and all the moving pieces of the puzzle are fitted together. You can definitely figure out what your schedule is by signing on to Student View, or your parents can sign up into Parent View to look at your class schedule. There's also a day in August for incoming sixth graders uh, taking care of business day, which is also the same as web day. And Ms. Miller will talk a little bit more about that, where you'll get an idea of your classes and you get to figure out where your classes and rooms are located. And the last question is, can I enter the building from the back side? So we have a set of back doors and we have a set of front doors. So the front doors are always open at 7, 7.45 to 8. 15 or um, when classes start and then later on in the afternoon for dismissal. The back doors are remain locked for safety reasons. However, we get that you might have a class in the portable or the uh, community gym and you have to come back into the main building. So during those times, usually the teachers open it up or there are other students that kind of hold open the door for you to pass back from the different parts of the school. OK, so that's all for me and I'm going to head on to uh, Mrs. Miller. Hi everyone, I'm Miss Miller. I teach language arts at TAI, but I am also one of the co-coordinators of our web program. Now, what is web? Web is a program for sixth graders where it's called where everybody belongs, where it's in a sense it's a it's a welcoming committee. It's, it's our eighth graders who we recruit and we train um, to be a part of the program. And we have lots of different events that we that we will we plan for you um, throughout the course of the year. So I have a couple questions about it. Um, what is the web orientation? The web orientation is the day where sixth graders, new sixth graders to our building are invited to come in and spend some time with their new leaders and get to see the school and get to do some really fun activities. And that takes place at the very end of August, right before school starts. So this year it's going to be, or for this up upcoming school year, it's going to be on August 27th from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Um, what are some of the web activities that we do throughout the year? Um, well, that depends. We t we recruit our eighth graders um, who have great ideas and they have meetings every quarter to then decide what that fun activity will be to connect with um, their, their webbies, we call them, our sixth graders. Um, and it can be anything from um, a movie to um, a special after school activity, something to do with popcorn even, you name it. Most of our web leaders come up with these great awesome ideas and we just get to spend some real quality time together to help welcome you into the school and make you feel that sense of community. Um, web leaders, what do they do? Well, they are the eighth graders in our school who have volunteered and this is they 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 spend so much time um, focusing on making the sixth graders helping the sixth graders understand um, you know how to open their locker how to find their classes um, just make them feel like a sense of, you know a sense of community um, so look for the red shirts on the very first day of school this is our shirt from this year um, where you will see about 75 of them around school and they're super helpful and super enthusiastic as they were in your position at one point as well. 
Um, and what do the web leaders do outside of orientation? I mean, we, we already kind of covered that, but I mean, we have events at least one time every single quarter just to make sure that you kids as sixth graders get to have that sense of community and that and that partnership with those eighth graders. So we look forward to seeing you in the in the, the at the end of this at the end of the summer, beginning of the school year, and we're really, really excited. So take care. Thanks, everyone. And I oh, and I'd like to hand it off to one of our web leaders, Hayden Lee. Okay, hi guys, I'm Hayden, and this year I'm a web leader, and I'm going to be answering a few questions about passing period and lunch. So first of all, how long are the breaks between classes? So we have a four minute passing period to get to our next class. Um, in that time, you can go to the bathroom or get stuff done and just be able to get to your next class with, before the bell rings. Um, we also have a 30 minute lunch break where you guys, and you guys will have first lunch, which is between third and fourth period. Uh, the next question is, do students run to, in the lunchroom? Yes, and let me tell you, it is not worth it. You can run, but the teachers will stop you and make you go back and rewalk the whole distance you ran. So it's just a lot easier if you don't run at all. Um, another question is, what is served in the lunchroom? And we have, okay, so we have two lunch lines. One has the same food every day, like burgers and pizza, and uh, the other one has a different menu every day. So if you want to buy lunch, I suggest looking at the menu or just bring your own lunch. Um, we're, we also have a snack shack, and some of the snacks we have there are brownies, chips, cookies, and a whole bunch of other really good stuff. Uh, my personal favorite is fruit snacks, and if you want to buy something, you should know the line can get very long, so just be aware of that. Um, the, one of the last question is, do we have a recess, and how long are any breaks that we have? So we don't really have recess, but we do have a 30 minute lunch period. We're at the 15 minute mark. A teacher will announce you can go outside and outside you can play basketball, talk with friends, play Foursquare and do whatever you want as long as it's safe and school appropriate. All right, those are all the questions I have. And so now my fellow web leader, Alessandra, will talk to you about TAI activities. <laughs> Hi, I'm Alessandra. I'm another web leader at TAI, um, and I'm going to be talking about activities, sports, and clubs. So the first question we have is, are clubs and activities required? So they're not required. They're totally optional, but they're really, really fun. Um, there's all kinds of sports and clubs um, that there's something for whatever you're interested in. Like this year, I participated in uh, the Model UN, so really there's a wide variety for whatever you want to do. Um, some people might choose to go home right after school ends at seventh period. Others might um, stay for tutorial, and some do clubs afterwards. So the next question is: Are there is there a marching band at Tai? So we have an awesome band class that's really great. We have really great teachers, um, but there's unfortunately no marching band yet. The next question is: um, Can you volunteer after school to help in the library? When you get to Tai, you can ask Miss um, Lecky. And, or Miss um, Nelson. Both of them are very friendly. They work in our, um, ex there's a really, we have a really big um, school library. It has a ton of books and a ton of awesome things you can check out. Um, and they would probably love to help you if you want to, if that's something you're interested in. The next question is, where can we sign up for after school activities? And what are some clubs and activities? So there's a website called Final Forms that your parents would um, have gotten an email about. Over the summer, they'll put all the directions for signing up for the clubs on the TAI website. So that's something that you'll want to look out for. And are there any free clubs? Where can I get information about the clubs? So most of the clubs at TAI are totally free. Our TAI website will have all the clubs up in August, um, since some of them change each year. And clubs will start about the second week of school. So that's all I have, and I'm going to hand it off to Mr. Layden, one of our awesome teachers at Tai. Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to Tai Middle School. Um, I don't know how I can up our phenomenal web leaders. You've been phenomenal all year. Thank you so much. Um, I just wanted to uh, say that I am a social studies teacher at Tai. Um, I'm also web coordinator. 
got my fabulous web shirt on and I'm going to answer a bunch of questions that you got here first having to do with lockers. How do you open your locker like the biggest stress for your sixth grader? How do I open my locker? Well, I'm going to tell you this. There's a three digit code and there's a set of instructions that you will get with your locker and I wouldn't worry about it right now because those fabulous web leaders, people with the red shirts, they're going to be there for you. Teachers will be there for you. People will be in the hallways and they're going to help you out. So don't worry. You'll get your locker number. You'll get where it is and we'll guide you there. We'll even walk you there if, if you need it. Um, so don't worry about that too much. Uh, let's move on to the next question. That is, can you chew gum? No. That's simple. Uh, we have three big rules at uh, Tai. It's respect yourself, respect each other, and respect this place. Um, if your gum gets on the classroom materials, if your gum gets on the desk, if your gum gets on the floor, well, that's not really very respectful of our place. So, no, we do not allow gum at Tai Middle School. Um, will it be easy to get around the building? Where do you go? for help if you need it. Well, if you get lost, if you have some issues finding your classes, find the red shirts on that first couple of days. Also, ask any teacher, ask any staff member. We will be there to help you. When you do your web orientation and you get assigned web leaders, remember them, remember their faces. You see them in the hallway and you're stuck, ask them for help. They're there to help you at every turn. There's a lot of questions here about the time in between classes. You have four minutes in between each one of the classes and folks, you got a plan. The other question here is, will I have enough time to get to my locker, go to the other side of the building? I mean, you can see the hallways right here. You can see the locker right here. You can see the kids going back and forth. It gets kind of chaotic sometimes. I say, come up with a plan, figure out a plan for the day. And part of being in middle school is trying to figure out how to organize, how to organize your classes, how to organize your books, how to organize everything. Is there enough time? Yes, there absolutely is enough time to get all the way across the school, even out to the portables where I hold classes, way, way out in the portables. You can do it as long as you come up with a plan and stick to it. Um, the next set of rules uh, or uh, questions are about bathrooms. When is it okay to use the bathroom? So if it's during class time, you've got to ask your instructor. Each instructor is going to have different rules having to do with the bathroom. Some of them will have like passes or sign outs, that kind of thing. Just make sure that you get your instructor's attention, raise your hand, uh, make sure that you tell them where you're going because you have to tell them if you're going to be leaving that classroom in order to go to use the restroom. If it's between the passing periods, that four minute passing period, you should have enough time to use the restroom and still get to your next class period. If it's during lunch, there are two restrooms that are available for you if you have to use them during the lunch time. And you know what? We'll show you the way. When you get there and you look at your first lunch period and everybody's bustling around, we will make sure that we tell you what to do and where to go and when to be there. Um, ASB cards, how much does it cost? It's $25. Um, just a little bit ago, you heard clubs be mentioned. You have to have an ASB card in order to get into a club. It is $25. We will have them on sale after web orientation, and there will be other ways to purchase them. If you have some trouble affording an ASB card, don't worry. We can get you covered. I want you to go talk to Miss Scott. She is in the front desk office, and she will take care of you. So that's about all I've got. Um, Mr. Lilly, I believe that you are there for the wrap up. Thank you very much and welcome to Taiyi, everybody. All right, so to our incoming sixth grade students, current fifth graders, we want to again congratulate you 
on the amazing accomplishment of finishing up fifth grade and your final year of elementary school. We want to let you know how excited we are to have you join us at Taiyi Middle School next year. We will be in touch. We will keep in touch. This video will be going on our website next week so you can watch it and make sure to learn more. I'm coming to you right now from my home office and I hope to see you very soon at Taiyi or at least in person. But for now, stay safe, keep in touch, stay updated by looking at our website and feel free to contact anyone at the school with questions you have. Now more than ever, we want to be there for our students who are stepping into a new place, uh, a new level, a new school, um, because we know that with that there's a lot of excitement, but there's also a little bit to kind of be thinking about and ask questions and that is okay. So we are here for you. We want to thank you. We look forward to seeing you in August at our web orientation day, and we will be keeping you posted as we get more and more updates of news that comes our way. So thank you so much. We look forward to you coming to Taiyi, and uh, for now, take care.